right, here we go. John Bonham triplets. Just what the drumming world needs, another video about John Bonham triplets. But we're going to take this someplace else because I have developed an exercise that will simultaneously improve your time, your speed, and your four-way coordination, and it's all based around the Bonham triplet. So here's the figure we're talking about. It's one on each hand and one on the foot. Now you probably noticed that I'm leading these with my left hand. That's critical, and it's actually the whole reason why I developed this exercise. In studying Bonham's playing, I realized that this triplet fill that I've been playing my whole life, leading with my right hand, Bonham leads it with his left. So I wanted to come up with a fun way to practice that, to retrain my body and develop new muscle memory to be just as comfortable leading these with my left as I am with my right. And the deeper I got into it, I realized some benefits of leading these with the left. You can keep your right hand down on the floor tom and move your left hand around the drums. That's exactly what Bonham did, and that's exactly how I've designed this exercise. It's a nine note phrase. You're gonna play the triplet starting on the snare drum, then on the rack tom, and then on the floor tom. Three, three, and three. Those are your nine notes. It's gonna look like this. This nine note pattern is the building block of the exercise. I call it the Bonham triplet ladder because you're gonna be climbing higher and higher to more and more dense subdivisions, playing this pattern faster and faster within the same tempo. Here's how this is gonna work. Your left foot will play quarter notes the whole time. You're gonna play this nine note pattern as eighth notes, then eighth note triplets, then 16th notes, 16th note triplets, 32nd notes, and finally 32nd note triplets or nines, which is the most common way that you're gonna hear Bonham do this. So let's take a look at this. This is at 60 beats per minute. So that's the exercise. A couple of things worth noting. When we get into those nines at the end, I am throwing in that crossover that Bonham would do a lot. That's partially a look thing. It's flashy and it looks cool because your sticks are flying all over and you're going fast. But there's a sound aspect to it too, which is that you're breaking the monotony of the middle triplet being on the floor tom. You get to start one on the floor tom and have the middle triplet be on the rack tom. So it's nice to have that variety in the sound. Another thing, the 32nd note section of this to me is by far the most challenging because you're taking a nine note pattern and putting it on top of an eight note subdivision. So it's only going to resolve every three measures. It's very difficult to hear it and feel it and play it. So the only way is to just do it nice and slow until you get comfortable with it. When you start playing this at faster tempos, the 32nd notes and the nines obviously become more difficult to execute due to the fact that you're at a faster tempo. However, built into this exercise is an equal challenge in playing it slower, and that comes in the front end of the exercise. 
eighth notes, eighth note triplets, sixteenth notes, when you're playing this down at 40 and 50 beats per minute, you have all kinds of space in between the notes, which equals a huge margin of error, and it's going to require a high level of mental focus and internal subdivision to be able to do that in time and make it feel good at a slow tempo. So I'm going to do this whole exercise again at 75 beats per minute. triplet ladder. I hope you have as much fun with it as I've been having. I've made a PDF of this entire exercise available on my website as a free download at davejohnstone.com. Click on the downloads tab and that way you can print it out and be looking at it while you're playing this which I think is very helpful. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.